Rolling. How to balance is take one, three, two, one, action. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of How To What Is. On today's episode, it will just be me, unfortunately for fans of Ray, but no worries, Ray will be back for the next episode. Anyways, today we're gonna take a look at one of the most interesting smartphones to come out in 2020, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. So the Galaxy Z Fold 2 builds upon the first foldable from Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy Fold, but now it has a considerably larger cover display as well as some added functionality. Without any further ado, let's talk about the 7 ways to get the most out of your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. First up, let's take a look at a feature that takes advantage of the Galaxy Z Fold 2's large 6.2 inch main display. This is called multi-active window. So essentially, this allows you to have three apps open simultaneously on the main display or two on the cover display, and you can even open multiple windows of the same app. A handy tip is that you can open even more windows via pop-up view, which allows you to have floating app windows for multitasking. All you need to do is to swipe left on the edge panel and drag compatible apps to the home screen, just like this. And when you're in multi-window mode, you can also drag and drop content across supported windows, just like this. Following on from that is the app pair feature. So basically, this allows you to save multi-window layouts on your Galaxy Z Fold 2 for future use. Up to three windows can be saved in a layout, which means that you can easily access apps that you usually use together right from your edge panel. To save a layout, click on the overflow menu in the center of the layout, which looks like a triple dot icon, and click on the save icon, just like this. To access the saved layouts, just open the edge panel on the home screen. Next up, we have the split screen capture feature. So what this basically does is when you take a screenshot in multi-active window mode, it takes individual screenshots of each window that is open. Here's an example. When three windows are open, press the power and volume down button to take a screenshot and a menu pops up with screenshots of each individual window. Of course, you can also get a screenshot of the entire screen, so it's entirely up to you. The Galaxy Z Fold 2's foldable form factor also gives you a couple of viewing modes to choose from. This is down to the new hideaway hinge, which has been brought over from the Galaxy Z Flip. Basically, you can adjust the folding angle so that the Z Fold 2 stands on its own and you can choose to watch videos in tent mode, flex mode, or anything else that you can think of. A quick tip here is that when you're using flex mode, it might be best to put the Galaxy Z Fold 2 down on the cover display. If not, the camera bump on the other half of the phone makes it rather unstable and unsuitable for this viewing mode. Samsung has also included new UI software updates to take advantage of this very form factor. The clearest example of this is flex mode. It's pretty cool actually. On supported apps such as YouTube, the screen's upper half displays the video, while the bottom half displays the app's UI, where you can scroll through related videos, comments, and so on. All you need to do to get into flex mode is basically to open the app like this first, and then fold it a little bit so that it then goes into flex mode. At the moment, there are a couple of spotted apps including YouTube and most of Samsung's native apps, but we do expect to see more compatible apps coming in the future. Flex mode also works on the camera app. Basically, when you use the flex mode to take photos, the preview of your shot is displayed on the top half of the screen and the camera controls are placed on the bottom. Again, all you need to do to enable flex mode for the camera app is to open the app and to fold it at an angle just like this and you'll be in flex mode. But what about taking selfies? While you're free to use the 10 megapixel cameras on the cover display or the main display, you probably get way better results and definitely more versatility if you use the Galaxy Z Fold 2's main camera setup on the rear. And with dual preview, your cover display will show a preview of your shot so that you can frame your selfies or you can even record vlogs. To turn it on, click on the dual preview button on the top right corner of the main display in the camera app. You won't get any controls on the smaller cover display in this mode, so you might want to use the palm shutter function, just like this. But there is a way to get the full array of camera controls on the smaller cover display. First, open the camera app on the cover display while the phone is folded. 
Then click on the selfie button at the top right corner of the cover display, then unfold the phone to take a selfie. Oh, and a handy tip for some of you that may have smaller hands, you can actually move the shutter button in the camera app by just holding and dragging the button. Samsung has also beefed up the native Samsung Notes app with some serious functionality. This includes conversions for PDF and Microsoft Office files, as well as the ability to sync your notes with audio recordings. Perfect for lectures and meetings, basically. Ray and I have talked about this functionality in a previous episode of How To What Is, so if you're keen to find out more, links in the description box below. So that brings us to the end of today's session. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you own a Galaxy Z Fold 2, I hope that this has helped you to get the most out of your new expensive foldable smartphone. And if you have any topics that you want us to explore on how to what is, do leave it in the comment section below, or you can join our RKMD group on Facebook, which you can find again in the description box below. So that's just about it. This is Nick signing off. Bye.